In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate confidence intervals for Cronbach's alpha, also known as coefficient alpha, which is an estimate of internal consistency reliability. So in this example, I've got several items that I want to create into a composite score, and I'm going to estimate the reliability for that. So in order to get the estimate of coefficient alpha, or Cronbach's alpha, go into Analyze, Scale, Reliability Analysis, and then place the variables of interest into the items box. This is just a regular approach to getting reliability that you would normally use. So if you click on statistics, you can see that you have several options here, one of which is the intraclass correlation coefficient. And this is the key piece of information you need in order to estimate the confidence intervals. And you get the option of 95%. What's important is that the intraclass correlation coefficient is identical to coefficient or Cronbach's alpha when you estimate the two-way mixed model. And the citation for that is this paper here. Estimating the reliability of continuous measures with Cronbach's alpha or the intraclass correlation coefficient. In this paper by Bravo and Potvin, 1991, they specifically say that estimating coefficient alpha, Cronbach's alpha, with the intraclass coefficient two-way mixed is exactly the same as coefficient alpha. Now the other reference that says SPSS does this is the confidence limits for intraclass reliability coefficients by Baumgartner and Chung, uh, 2001. I'll put these references in the description of the video so that you can just copy and paste that into your study if you need them. So let me show you how this works. Click on continue, really easy, click on OK. And here I get the results associated with the reliability of these composite scores that I'm interested in. And you can see here that the reliability was estimated at 0.632 for Cronbach's alpha, and the intraclass correlation coefficient also equal to 0.632 based on the two-way mixed model, where you can see it says people effects are random, and measures effects are fixed. That is consistent with the vast majority of people's scenarios estimating reliability. You want to infer your results from your sample to a population. So that's the random effect in your data. That's true for almost everybody. And the items that you're including in your measure are fixed. You're not changing them from study to study or sample to sample. That's why the two-way mixed effects model for the intraclass correlation is exactly the same as coefficient alpha. And so here are the 95% confidence intervals for the intraclass correlation, which is 0.632. So the lower bound is as low as 0.575, and the upper bound is 0.682. So those are the 95% confidence intervals that you can report with your coefficient or Cronbach's alpha in a particular study. So that is how you can estimate 95% confidence intervals, or any confidence interval you want, for a coefficient alpha through the intraclass correlation in SPSS.